disadvantage one too many times, that's when you die. Mm -hmm. So this that's, is a different school of thought, for sure. Yeah, so it's it's definitely, in my opinion, Smash Ultimate is definitely a neutral based game, and not a lot of people really like that. They kind of want to go in, they kind of want to oppress other people with their buttons, with their top tiers. But that's really not the case anymore. That's really the case with older games such as Brawl, such as Smash 4, with like, you know, Bayonetta Cloud. But anyways. We're getting a uh, Min Main, so we're getting uh, another DLC representation. We've gotten uh, Kazuya, we've gotten Aegis, and we got. Uh, who else did we get? Did we get any other DLC tonight? Uh, honestly, I think Pikachu should be a DLC oh, yeah. character, dude. That character is <laughs> broken. Anyways, getting back into this, Min Main versus Glug. I'm really surprised oh, Glug. It's Caesar, not Glug. Oh, oh shoot. Okay, never mind. Caesar. Uh, the Sonic versus Min Main. This is very synonymous for online play, but an offline, these characters could really mess you up because of how they play. Sonic really holding the pace of the natural with the neutral because you don't really need to punish or like approach as Sonic. You can kind of, you know, play the neutral and play zoning with your speed, which is very interesting. I think that um, a lot of Min Min's, a lot of Min Min's strength is she's kind of like a 50-50 character. She can cover one of two options with a committal ram ram. She can cover a jump or a dash in, but Sonic has like so many different ways to close the range. Even the mini hops are going to be a difficulty for Min Min to cover. Um, you have to really commit to an option and if Caesar is able to close the distance like he is, it's going to be very difficult for Min Min to get any uh, breathing room between them, which is exactly what you want. And I mean here, it's so difficult to react to which spin dash he's going to use, which is going to be difficult because you can only really cover a 50-50 as a Min Min. And fun fact, actually, uh, Caesar is using a lot of homing attack, and homing attack is both a really good move and a really bad move. Like, the, the properties of that hitbox is that it aims just above you, mm -hmm. you know? And a lot of the times when, when Sonic does get the bonk on the stage, he hits, he hits like 30 frames of lag or something crazy like that, so you're able to, to really punish him with that. So, you know, rolling out of this homing attack is really, really important. And you can kind of see right now Min Main, fantastic job of edge guarding with the Ram Ram. That was a very good uh, laser to put, uh, punish a uh, um, drift that a lot of players like to go for, to drift for the ledge, and then, you know, closing it out with that Ram Ram to hit below the ledge. And now uh, Min Main has an edge guard opportunity here, going for that downer to maybe punish a jump from ledge. And uh, now he has center stage control and just pushing the envelope on, on aggression with the Min Min, uh, large sweeping uh, hitboxes. I would say you have to treat Min Main slash Min Min the same as you would treat a uh, Belmont because after they use that that first arm, they still have that second arm, and you kind of have to wait and react to that. So you could close the gap by walking up a little bit, and if they use that second arm, you're able to shield it, and then instantly run up and dash attack. If they don't use it, you still have that much space, and what they're gonna try to reset neutral. They're just gonna try to down tilt or go back. So you, it's a really much waiting game after the first arm. It's again reactive instead of proactive. Mm -hmm. And here we have. Uh Min Main just kind of, uh, you know, trying to create some space, but Caesar is, you know, holding on to this lead, utilizing the double jumps and the movement to try to avoid some of these Min Min hits, and yeah, going for a down tilt two frame up smash, getting punished with a back throw off stage. Gonna oh, go deep for the homing attack, not a back air, but a homing attack. Up be back to the ledge, very scary spot to be in the corner against Min Min, but utilizing the platform to mix it up, I like it a lot, and I really like. Caesar trying to go in, trying to dash dance a little bit back and forth, but unfortunately he gets clipped by that up smash. Walking, uh, you know, walking by a little bit too fast, not being able to react in time. Fantastic back air on, on stage now again. He dropped his shield there, and he's gonna get punished for it. But you know, he's you know, came down from the angel platform, chose violence, and now he's just really running down min main. It's so important to use that uh, angel platform invincibility, but utilizing this um, the ball. I I don't know what it's called, electric ball to kind of do a lot of percent and push him into the corner. And oh. both of them trying to trade a downer and up e, not finding a conversion off of it. Oh, unfortunately, I, that, that could have been a punish with the back throw, but unfortunately he did uh, he did up e, And now both players kind of in a scramble situation. This is really what Min Min really wants to do, because the thing is, since Min Min does have that rain advantage, and Min Min has that rain advantage, he's just able to forward throw. He's able to, um, oh, sorry, back throw. He's able to forward tilt. He's able to F smash and especially just use both arms to try to catch him running in. But the execution tested him. That's yeah. so scary because there you can definitely find a side B uh, with that to kill and forward smash Ooh, not connecting, wow. reading the jump away with that. This is so close. I mean, you're seeing the, just two very polarizing characters. Sonic with the way to burst into range 
and Min Min with the opportunity to keep you out, it's just so back and forth on the momentum because if one is able to like really nail, if Min Main is able to nail down where Sonic wants to be, uh, he's able to push you into the corner with a lot of percent. And if Sonic is able to mix up the way he's approaching, he's able to get so much percent off of those homing attacks and side Bs. And now Min Main, you know, up a game, coming back from the percent deficit, it always seemed like he was in um, the disadvantage, but you know, clawing his way back with that jump read and a switch to Dark Pit, I like it. Yeah, this is, this is actually one of the matches that, uh, one of the characters that Pit actually beats just because the Nair is really good to combo. Fantastic, we're trying to go over with the dash attack. And I really want to see the off offstage edge guard down now, uh, back air, and trying to, really trying to edge guard him super hard. This is why this character is good in specific matchups. And fun fact, if you actually hit that, um, Orbiters? That downbeat, yeah, the orbiters, he instantly get frame advantage. Because the other person stuck in uh, hit some because he, they hit your shields, you're able to put it down, and then you're able to hit them. Min Main, I really like the, he, he puts his body into these moves, and uh, he's really going for these killing options. It's like, I want to end it here in these ledge traps. A Nair to punish the tether, but Min Main using his, utilizing his resources to come back. Up air sharks, he went for a very committal option. Looked like he was going to follow the up smash, but the up air, then sharking. Oh yeah, fantastic job. This is what I mean by this is such a hard matchup for Min Min. Yeah, that was dirty. I yeah. mean, just one hit of Nair able to punish the tether. Yeah, fantastic job. Trying to recover with the arrow, nothing just yet. Tries to hit him, fantastic pivot grab. Such a such a long range grab. Oh, he dropped the Arbiters just in time to avoid that up B. And now we have him holding the lead, pushing it forward, and just both of them dashing away. None of them opting to grab there, but a dash and up smash to punish the um, Caesar dropping shield there, not respecting mid main space. And both these players now in neutral. Fantastic, uh, fantastic down air camping, kind of reminiscent of the brawl error type of deal. And, you know, again, really trying to gimp Min Min. This, yeah. this is the name of the game. Fantastic down smash coming in. That's a frame five move. No, it's frame four, actually. It's the fastest smash attack in the game. Yeah, it's. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Sorry, I'm thinking of another move. Yeah, sorry, yeah, sorry. Yeah, I was, I was gonna you say. Said, like, you said Brawl Meta Knight, and I was thinking of Meta Knight. No, sorry. no, no. It's frame Bra five, it's the second fastest here, right here. Right? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's second fastest. Yeah. Trust me, I'm a pit player. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. I'm oh, and actually catches him with that forward smash. Again, you can't be using your orbiters so far, like this, with the same amount of uh, time, but fantastic. Catching him with that, saving his double jump, though, on stage back throw and arrows. Yeah. Oh, he went for a forward air there, but catching the air dodge with the Nair, Min Main can make it back, but that back air popping him up was able to save him there, and an aggressive option from the ledge, going for that, getting a tech chase situation, not landing with the Nair, and now he has a side B off the stage. What a snipe! Ooh, Is that gonna be enough? This should be enough. Oh, oh no, nope. he made it back! He um, saved his double jump, Ram Ram into the Dragon Laser, 62%. He went for the hard read and air dodge from Caesar. Min Main is trying to end his life here. Waiting out that arrow, not using a fastball there. He doesn't have a double jump. Oh, trying to mix up his arrow there to maybe catch Min Main having to air dodge up air sharking. He's just, he's trying to end it. I can see, I can feel it. But Caesar with that back air able to cover that platform option for Min Main. Uh, could potentially be Caesar's last stock of winner side up airs. Now coming out, trying to just get any percent to close the deficit here. And you can kind of see a lot of the Nairs putting a lot of mileage just because if it does trade with mid main, it's all right because Pit's able to kind of get down, run in for the re-grab and try to do anything. But unfortunately, hits him with the forward air right now and now Caesar playing on the ledge right now. Yeah, Min Main, just, he, he just wants to find this so badly. And that dash attack setting him into the corner. Nair punishing those that very committal option. Getting the air dodge, no punish on the tether. Everyone reeling in their seats, watching for the outcome. He missed it. He up angled the grab, didn't connect there. Oh, and you can see how much uh, how much shield stun that Nair is with that uh, with that electric ball. Dash and attack, he went for a down air there to avoid it. Jumping off with that side beat to punish the forward air. He jumped over it. This is so scary. Getting a grab, is that going to be it? No, up throw, no, not no. able to kill quite yet. Going high up there, baiting out the Arbiters, but not getting a, any punish off of it. Going through the Nairs. Yeah, and you could kind of oh, see Oh, he found good, the side B connection on the jump, and that was able to take it Min Ming, taking a 2 over Caesar. Wow. Yeah, you could kind of see the aggression coming out from Caesar, trying to really shark out all these double jumps. But again, fantastic utilization of waiting to use your resources 